sometimes the best mods for Jeeps are the inexpensive ones. Um, I came up with this years ago for a Jeep TJ and for a JK over the years. I had different Jeeps, but some of the best mods are stuff you come up with on your own. I got these at a hardware store. They're about $15, I think it was, from their Husky brand from Home Depot, uh, the Home Depot. And I got these aluminum hooks, also from Home Depot, for just a few dollars a piece. Take these straps, and these are called cam locks. Cam locks just mean that they use a, uh, an offset cam-shaped device to lock out the strap, rather than a ratchet. If you use a ratchet, it makes these a little more difficult. With the cam lock, you can just drag it, and it's going to stay in place wherever you drag it to. So that's the key, is the cam lock straps. Follow me around here. You may find it difficult for your hard top to uh, be removed by yourself. Um, there is a couple tricks you can do. You could just put, open your window, put your hand in after you unbolt it and lift it up and carry it out of the back of the pickup, something you can't do with the Jeep Wrangler because you have the pickup bed to help you pull the, the hard top off. I've had my wife help me with this. Um, it is difficult to kind of get it up over your head. It's about 60 pounds, so it's 30 pounds per person. And that can be cumbersome. Also, she has uh, some shoulder issues, so that wasn't going to work for all the time. Uh, we went ahead and reverted back to the basic $20 hard top removal system. There are better systems out there uh, that will let you do it faster, but I'm about to show you that once your straps are in place, this is literally uh, less than a 15 minute job. And that's not using any power tools. If I use my drill, I can usually get it off in about five minutes. There are just uh, six bolts on the bottom here. We're gonna hit the one, two, three, four, five, and then six in that other corner. There are also two more bolts up here, and that'll be seven and eight. Once you remove the freedom panels and your doors are off, those are usually things you can do in about 10 minutes. Um, it literally is just as easy as unbolting it, putting these straps under here, here, the other side, and then just zipping them up just a couple inches and then driving your truck off. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you a montage of all that stuff. So I'm gonna use the uh, included Jeep toolkit with the Jeep. If you don't have one of these in your glove box or in the back uh, compartment somewhere or anywhere in your Jeep, go to your dealer. They should have included one of these with your truck. All right, and right here, there's this little plastic cap on top the, on your hard top. Push it over, it'll pop out, and there's a connector in here. Pull the red tab, push down on the black the black tab in between the red tab and pop it out. Then I have done this modification here. I put a little rubber uh, grip onto this plate with a screw and a um, piece, a rubber piece from the hardware store. I believe these are called the, uh, they're like a nut cert, but they're rubber. So when you pull them down, they squish. I just reversed it and used it as a rubber grip. Uh, if you go to the hardware store, these will be um, like a, in a rubber nut section of the store. But it literally plugs in there just as a placeholder. And then you can stuff that wire down in there using your little handheld piece that you modify here. It allows you to slide this back on and easy access. I wish Jeep would have uh, just put that on there to begin with. <clears throat> Alright, that's all for back here. Position where we can take the hard top off. We're only a few minutes into this, and this is fairly easy. You can do this, with, you know, a couple minutes before work. I'm just lifting this with my hand and putting the putting a strap on there. So we're starting now, and it's 
3.30 in the afternoon. Okay, let's see how long this takes once I get the bolts off. Put the hard top off just a little bit, and then I'm going to put these rubber, these are rubber coated so they're not damaging my hard top, but I'm going to put the back one in this split where the hard top sealed together. So there's one, two, let's go around the other side. three. There's really no way to damage this, but these rubber, if you get them rubber hooks, these are the Husky brand straps. They're very forgiving, so you can get up here and get close to see what I'm doing. Pushing this up with just a couple fingers, and I'm getting it kind of just snugged in this, this center spot. So I'm going to grab these two straps. I'm going to lift up just a couple inches. It's just enough to get you know, my hand in there. Because I don't need a lot of room once I drive the Jeep out. It doesn't have to be up, up real high. Okay, and so what we're looking for here is if you position the Jeep under your, your straps, so if you can get that back up here and get the whole shot. If you position your Jeep under your straps correctly. You may have to, uh, once you put your, your straps and your bolts in, the, in the, uh, the ceiling, if you got it right, you should have just a little bit of gap right here and a little bit of gap on the other side of the roll bar. What I've done in the past is just stuck a, a, a magnet to my roll bar uh, just so it doesn't scrape, but I've got it lined up pretty good. You can put something in here to pad it so when you drive out, this does not scrape the roll bar. If it does, it literally buffs out with your thumb or finger. So, we're pretty good to go here. I'm looking for anything I've left uh, unconnected or that's going to grab when I drive out. It looks pretty good. Got the four straps up in two minutes. Two minute hard top always for 20 bucks. So let's go ahead and pull the Jeep out and let's see how it looks. Alright, so it took us a couple of minutes, um, about 10 minutes for the doors and the Freedom Top. Once those two panels are out, it's another maybe 5 to 10 minutes to un undo the top. If you have a, a drill motor or if you're using one of my hands, it's going to vary in time. Um, but you can see here with the top off, there's not a lot of wind. We do have some trade winds in Guam, um, but for the most part, I've left this up here for days at a time like this. Never, never bothered it. Um, pull it up maybe a little higher but I don't need it to be on the ceiling and then I'll just take my straps and use a carabiner or some other device to snap those together and pull them tight and then I have one little extra piece of protection so that they don't come off those hooks. Those are aluminum so something else you have, might want to think about is that when you're doing that the aluminum uh, is less you know likely to corrode while you're in Guam or wherever you live in the salty area there, or you can use that hole. So I've had a good success with these and uh, that's what I stuck with. All right, the truck's backed in. You can see the hard top is above it. Uh, I've got it kind of all cleaned up and ready to go for the night. Um, I have a hard top cover, uh, the Jeep Mopar cover, to put on there as well. And I uh, hope this little video uh, helped you guys out, gave you kind of an idea of what you can do um, to get your Jeep kind of ready for the summer and to uh, enjoy the topless feature of your Gladiator. Um, we took the doors the top off, did it in very little time with the hard top hoist and uh, did it for very little money. Um, click like and subscribe if you guys think that this was, uh, was pretty well put together. Let me know in the feedback uh, what I could do better and I'm trying to keep the video simple, clean, concise to the point. Not a lot of uh, additional um, video editing and, and sound uh, to give it uh, you know, length. But this is you know on my own dime, I'm not doing this for uh, monetization or advertising. This is just some fun and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, like, subscribe and I'll keep making videos for you. Thank you.